Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wilk. When you think of sport headphones, you probably think of Bluetooth in-ears, but those aren't the only options. Case in point, the Sennheiser PMX686Gs. The headphones are on display without even opening the box. Open the box up and underneath you'll find the manual and the carrying bag. That's all there is here. These are only available in one color option, a fairly bright neon green. This may put some people off, but we're happy to see a non-standard color choice on display. These are in-ears, but they're held in place by a headband that wraps around the back of your head. As these are sport focused, the ear adapters are made of antibacterial material to help keep the headphones at least somewhat sweat resistant. The fit is tight at first, and I spent quite some time trying to find the right way to wear them. They were quite uncomfortable, and I figured that there was no way I could be wearing them the right way and still find them that painful to wear. I was wrong. I never got used to the PMX686Gs. As time wore on, I found myself having to remove the headphones just to provide some relief for my aching ears. To my surprise, I found that the discomfort hung on for around 10 minutes after removing the headphones. To put it even more clearly, these are the most uncomfortable headphones we've ever tested. These use a flat Linguini style cable with a built-in mic and remote. In a change from many headphones out there, these aren't advertised as being iPhone or iPod compatible, but rather Samsung Galaxy compatible. Other manufacturers, including HTC and LG, are mentioned on the packaging as well though. We didn't have a Galaxy device on hand to test with, but the remote was indeed fully functional with the handful of Android devices we tested the headphones with. On an iPhone 5S, on the other hand, only the middle button was functional. Call quality was fine, roughly comparable to a good quality included headset. I've got to be honest here, I found these so uncomfortable that I didn't listen to them nearly as much as I do with most headphones, but we still ran them through the full gamut of testing. Given the fit and the fact that the earbuds don't create a seal in your ear, I was surprised at the bass response. Lows are powerful, but some of the bass does encroach on the mid-range. The low end feels almost artificial as if there's some sort of processing going on, but that obviously isn't the case in passive headphones. The mid-range is loud and powerful with the snap of snare drums and the growl of electric guitars well represented. Vocal detail was preserved nicely, but guitars could be overshadowed by the drums and bass at times. The highs have a somewhat strangled sound to them that I couldn't quite put my finger on, though I can say that they definitely taper off a bit. There isn't any harshness, but it feels like these are playing it overly safe in the high end. Stereo imaging is nice, and there's a nice spacious sound that I don't expect out of this form factor. The noise isolation isn't great, but it is better than I would have imagined given the way these fit. With no music playing, you can hear what's going on around you fine, but even at lower volumes, they do a fairly good job of blocking out background noise. These sound good, look cool, and seriously hurt to wear, and that just ruins these headphones for us. I'm sure there are a few people out there for which these headphones are a perfect fit, but even so, at a hundred bucks, we just can't recommend these. We're giving the Sennheiser PMX686Gs a five out of 10. And that's it for this one, everybody. For all the details, check out the full review over at soundguys.com. And if you wanna stay caught up with everything we're up to, check out our newsletter. Links to both are down in the description. If you like the video, let us know, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Chris Wilk, thanks for watching.